So, you want to rent some textbooks? Good for you. Although not all books are available to rent, you may find those that are can save you lots of money. First of all, reading a textbook means you're going to pay a rental fee, use the book for the entire semester, and then return it to the bookshop. Here are a few things you need to know about renting books. You can pay for your rented books with any tender you prefer, like check or cash or credit card. However, you will need to use a credit or a debit card to secure the rental. This is only used if you don't return your rented book by the due date. For fall, that expiration date would need to expire later than December, and for spring, the expiration date would need to be later than May. Once you rent a book, you agree to rent it for the entire semester. There are no refunds unless you drop the class, and then you have approximately 30 days to do this. You must read your rental agreement for the exact date, and you must bring the original receipt and a copy of your current class schedule showing you are no longer in that class. You can print this from my.luther. Leave all those stickers on the book, both the bright stickers and the white one on the back with all the numbers. It's important to us in order to track the return. And look, the date the book is due back to the bookshop is listed right here. If you rent a book and then decide you want to purchase it, you only pay the difference between the rental fee and the purchase price if this is done within the approximate 30-day window. Be sure to bring your original receipt with you. All rented books must be returned to the bookshop on or before the date listed on the rental agreement and on the sticker on the book. Books that are returned must be in saleable condition determined by the bookshop. So please, no missing or torn pages or cover damages to the spine and absolutely no water damage. That is a biggie. Be sure not to spill your coffee or dance in the rain with your rental book. All CDs and other components that were with the book at the time of rental must also be returned at the end of the semester. Limited highlighting and writing are acceptable. We expect to get a used book back and we really want you to study. Now you will be responsible for the theft or loss of your book. Be sure to return your book and not another person's book. Keep track of your books at all times. If you're with a group of other students with the same book, look twice to make sure you have the right book. Your book has an assigned unique number that tracks back to you. If you return the wrong book, your book may not get returned and you will be responsible for its replacement. Now, you will receive several emails reminding you to return your rental books. These are very important emails as they list the books that still need to be returned. This may seem like you're getting a lot of emails and you're probably saying, not one more, but please read them to make sure you have returned all of your rental books. Once all your rental books are returned, you won't receive these reminders. Even if you don't heed these reminders, you are still responsible to get that book back to us. Now, if you don't return the rental book or you miss the return date, you will be charged the replacement cost of the book and a $15 penalty charge per book. At this point in the time, there is no recourse. It's really easy to rent. Just be sure to read all the terms that you agree to so there'll be no questions later. Then, decide what to do with all that money you've saved.